Ladies, ladies, I'm here on the machine. I'm here to recap Game 5 of the American League Championship Series. Um, New York Yankees beat the Cleveland Guardians 5-2 to two and they win the Series. 4-1, uh, Series is over. The Yankees are headed to the World Series. Uh, Juan Soto with a three-run home run in the top of the 10th. On a one-two pitch, bad pitch. So I thought there by Gaddis. You can't, you can't throw a good pitch there to Juan Soto. He does gets hit, and uh, the New York Yankees are headed to their forty-first uh, World Series and their first uh, since two thousand nine. And of course, it's in dramatic fashion. Behind Juan Soto's three-run home run to center field, and uh, in the tenth inning. And then a clean 10th inning from Luke Weaver. Two clean innings from Luke Weaver. And the Yankees will probably face my Dodgers when we clinch tomorrow night, hopefully. Uh, but, yeah, um, Juan Soto, man, just, and Giancarlo Stanton, those two were great this series. Juan Soto was fantastic. Three for five, three RBIs. The three on a homer to win it there in the tenth inning. The dude is just such a generational talent. And um, Giancarlo Stanton was electrifying in this American League Championship Series. He had four homers in this series, seven RBIs, and including that two-run homer that tied the game. The Guardians were up two nothing, and Stanton hits a two-run homer there, ties it up. He was electrifying. Juan Soto was at the clutch moment. Uh, Carlos Shodom was I thought was pretty good through four point two innings. Uh, he had only left two runs, struck out six. But Jake Cousins as well, man, struck out four. Just the bullpen overall was pretty good. Um, as a whole, I, I really thought I really thought there was going to be game six, but nope. Guardian season is over. We've Touched on the Yankees right quick. We'll talk about the Guardians. Um, Cleveland's fight. They fought hard in this series, man. I, you look, I know they lost 4-1, but they were in every single one of these games. They were winnable games. Yes, at the end of the day, they look, they still lost. But they they fought hard. Like, like these, this team had fought. It's just, unfortunately, you know, Class A blows the game last night. And look, they're pesky, this Guardian team, a young team, new manager. And look, I know they lost, but they made Cleveland Brown all season long. Who would have thought they even would have made the championship series? Because on this year, I wouldn't have predicted Cleveland to make it this far. And it's heart, it's heartbreaking. It had to end like this. But with this young, talented team, maybe soon you'll see that. World Series out and once and for all. We'll see, but this is the closest four series, four one series win that you'll ever see. Uh, but it's a heck of a year because they were predicted to finish third in the Central this year. No Shane Bieber. Tristan McKenzie sits in the minor leagues. ETC. You were blessed to make it to the ALCS with two starting pitchers from spring training. It was an awesome ride for them. It just wasn't meant to be. The series was going to probably be over regardless. And it was a memorable season for the Guardians, man. Uh, but you're proud of them. Judge Soto, Judge, and Stanton, just a nightmare. Every time the A's got to that part of the order, you got to play near perfect against them. And the Guardians just simply didn't play perfect um, there. There wasn't an answer quitting this team all season like they tried. But they need to. what they need to do is invest in their lineup in the offseason. But you can't really trust them to do that because... Bum, that bum, the bum owner doesn't have, I guess, doesn't want to spend money. But they, I think, um, in, you need to invest in your lineup and maybe get another starter. But I mean, you got Shane Bieber coming back next season. You already have Tanner Bibby, but maybe you need to get out there and get another starter, if, or if you want to keep Ben Lively in the rotation. But incredible run this year, but man, a painful thank you fans post. But they need to really spend, um, they need to spend money in the offseason. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about uh, Carlos Rodon here and the Yankees. Rodon goes 4.2 innings, 5 hits, 2 earned runs, 1 walk, 6 strikeouts. Uh, he was really good in this series. 
Um, Juan Soto come up big in the hugest, biggest moments. Judge is following the World Series. Um, Carlos Rodon was great. Giancarlo Stanton's been a freaking playoff legend. And Carlos Rodon was good. But I mean, you you want to get you want him to give you more than that in a closeout game. He kept them in it, which was good enough tonight from where the Guardians' offense was. But he needs to go longer than that in the World Series. Uh, Mark Leader Jr. Point two innings pitch, no hits, no earned runs, two walks, no strikeouts. A shout out to him. He pitched, got big outs, man. Mark Leader got big outs uh, in those in uh, that point two innings. Uh, Tim Hill, 1.1 innings pitch, one hit, no earned runs, one walk, no strikeouts. So he got some big outs as well, along with Jake Cousins here. 1.1 inning pitch, no hits, no earned runs, one walk, and four strikeouts. Then you go to Luke Waver. Two innings, one hit, no earned runs, no walks, one strikeout. Good bounce back out here from Luke Waver after not pitching yesterday. Just the acquis- accusations, acquisitions, how the fuck you say that word? Acqu- a- accusations. Paid off, man. Getting Jake Cousins, Luke Waver, Mark Leader, Juan Soto, guys like that. As for the offense, uh, Torres was 2 for 5, Soto 3 for 5, 3 RBIs. Uh, Judge was 0 for 4, Stanton 1 for 2 RBIs. Chisholm and Rizzo reached 1 for 3. Volpe was 1 for 4. Wales 0 for 3 to walk. He's really struggling this postseason. Uh, and then Verdugo was 0 for 4 in a run scored. And they had uh, nine total hits for five runs, scored two in the sixth, and then three in the tenth to win this series 4-1. For the Guardian side, um, Tanner Bibby, 5.2 innings pitch, six hits, two earned runs, no walks, five strikes. Size so that two-run homer. Um, I thought Tanner Bibby was good. I thought he gave him a really good effort. They just need to try and extend Quan and Bibby this offseason. A lot of priorities. The starting pitching as well. Get some all, uh, more lineups. But that's I've, I haven't been critical of vote, but I kind of have been lately. And but you can't have Stanton beat you in that spot, despite Bibby striking him out twice already. Yes, the pitch was really bad as well. That's kind of on him. It was a bad uh, pitch there. K. Smith point two innings pitch, one hit, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. Tim Heron. 1.2 innings pitch, no hits, no earned runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Emmanuel Classe, one inning, one hit, no earned runs, no walks, one strikeout. Hunter Gaddis, one inning, one hit, no earned runs, one walk, and two strikeouts because there was an air that uh, they had as well. That's kind of hurting as well as some airs in this series by Rokio. He had a really good series. But, I mean, he drops a force out there, and the Rokio airs happen this series happened the worst possible times, but there's a lack of focus at crucial moments, and they're just a bad, bad error also that didn't help with Rokio as well, made that one key error. Uh, for the offense, Quan was 1-5 on an RBI, Fry 1-3, for three. Manzardo was 1-2 for two pinch hitting, uh, Ramirez 0-4 on a walk, uh, Thomas 0-5, for five. Josh Nagler 1-2, for two, two walks, uh, Noel was 0-4, for four. Uh, Naylor 2 for 4 in an RBI, Jimenez 1 for 4, and Rokio over 2 2 walks. And for the Guardian offense, they had 7 toys for 2 runs, 1 in the 2nd, and 1 in the 5th. Also had 1 error, and they lose this series 4 to 1. They were in every one of these games. It's just the bullpen couldn't do their job, and just key, just errors uh, hurt them as well. But good season for the Guardians, man. Um, We'll, we'll see what happens next season. The ending sucks but, uh, for them. But as for the Yankees, uh, going to the World Series, we'll see if um, uh, my Dodgers can clinch tomorrow night, play the New York Yankees in the World Series. Uh, Stanton won the ALCS MVP. So the Yankees need to re-sign Juan Soto. If you're the Yankees, you got to re-sign Juan Soto. But, yeah, it's really going to say you're not. So um, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And until next time, have a lot. Peace.